Yo, what's up guys? Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today we're talking about what is one of my most request things. I get DMs, I get comments about it all the time and that is for a website review and kind of the, the uh, whole aspect of what goes into good web design. So that's what we're going over in this video. But if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit the like when you know that you like the content. And also if you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified as soon as we drop the latest video. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. So guys, what are some keys to good web design? Now, um, I've had a design business, graphic design, web design, that kind of stuff for about four years now. Um, so I know what goes into doing you know, good web design. But what I'm gonna talk about, you don't have to be a good designer, you don't have to know code, you don't have to know, you know Adobe Illustrator, any of this kind of stuff to be able to implement. Um, it's just uh, you know, stuff that you can do just off of the, uh, you know, the free Shopify trial. So here's some keys to good web design. Number one, and this is absolutely key, is that you have to keep it simple, okay? So many people try to overcomplicate a simple thing, but think about any website that you see, okay? Um, uh, say like Nike.com, UnderArmor.com, Amazon.com, all these sites are very simple, um, and there's a reason that they're simple, because people like simplicity. People want to be able to follow a certain path to be able to get a goal, which, let me write this down, is that each page should have a specific purpose, okay? If a page doesn't have a, a specific purpose, then you should probably get rid of it. Or if it has multiple purposes, then you should try to simplify it and find what that one purpose is. So for example, your, uh, you know, your Instagram or your Facebook, the entire purpose of that is to get onto your website, um, you know, for the customer to get on your website. Once they're on your website homepage, the entire purpose is to get them onto a product page. Once they're on the product page, the entire purpose is to get them to you know, add to cart, and then once they're on that, it's to buy, okay? So each page should have a specific purpose, and if it has multiple, then you should probably try to simplify. Okay, the second thing is that you should have a consistent, uh, simple color theme, okay? I see a lot of websites, and this, there's nothing that screams scam, like a website that has like 15 different colors on it, and they're all like neon pink, neon green, all this stuff, or, even worse, if it's in the product description and you have like five different colors. You know, what major website do you go to, major retailer do you go to that has more than just like black or gray text? Or if it's a you know black background, they might have white. Occasionally you might see red text if it's like a sale or something. Um, but other than that, you're not seeing green, you're not seeing blue, you're not seeing pink, you're not seeing all these different colors that a lot of times people throw in their website to do, uh, you know, like stand out or be catchy. You know, to me, that screams scam, and to a lot of people, that screams scam, and that's not gonna, you know, have somebody actually trust your website and wanna buy from you, okay? So have a consistent, simple color theme, <clears throat> preferably neutral colors, so that would be blacks, whites, grays, um, and then sort of, uh, I guess, not necessarily pastel, I mean, you could definitely do pastel if that's your vibe, um, but sort of more muted colors of, you know, if instead of like bright Carolina blue, you might go with something a little more muted, if that makes sense, okay? So consistent, simple color theme. The last one is uh, a lot of people ask me, do you have to buy themes? Do you have to, uh, you know, pay out of pocket $100 to buy a theme, all this kind of different, or like pay a designer or buy a website, all this stuff. No, you don't have to do it. Literally all I use for my websites are free themes called Debut and Venture, okay? Uh, just depending on the website, depending on the vibe, I might use a different theme. But uh, actually on two of my websites right now, I'm using this theme venture, which is really cool. Uh, it's professional, it's easy to manipulate, easy to uh, you know edit, and it just looks good, um, I think at least. So uh, do you have to buy a theme? No, absolutely not. You, Especially if you're just beginning, you probably shouldn't. You should start out with the free themes and then go from there, okay? So that being said, let's jump into some examples of what I believe are good website design for, and both of these examples I'm gonna show you are actually dropshipping stores. Um, and you might actually be shocked by it, but uh, the first one here is universal time, okay? And what do we see? Uh, exactly what I talked about, okay? So simple color theme, you see whites, you see blacks, uh, and then they have you know red here. Uh, I think that might, yeah, I mean, it's it's a super simple theme, okay? But as soon as you jump onto the website, what's the first thing that you see? You see 20% off all uh, orders for the Christmas sale, and then they have a Christmas code, and start shopping, okay? What did I say about having the entire purpose of the page be to go to a specific, or the entire purpose of the homepage be to go to a product, okay? So you have this here, you can immediately click on this and start shopping all these different products, which 
all these products say we want to buy this axe thing, we can go here and they don't even have a very intense uh, you know, product description at all. It's very, very simple. Um, but they have a solid product photo. It's on a white background, so it's not you know, outstanding. But if we go back, let's see, uh, for example, this one, you can see they have a really good photo that they probably actually used on their Instagram. Um, and that's how people used it, or maybe they even used it in an ad. Um, and again, they have a very simple description. Now, you could go with this. Um, it definitely works. I tend to like uh, a little bit longer descriptions, which relates the product a little more to the customer. Um, it's really just personal preference. Uh, you should you know, definitely test it out and see what works best for you. But definitely don't just use the, uh, you know, the stock description that they give you from AliExpress. That's not, that's not ideal. That's not what you want to do, okay? So, uh, you know, again, here the entire purpose is to get somebody to add to cart. We go back to the home page, we can go down and, you know, they have a little about us. And then this aspect, shop our Instagram, this is something that I've started implementing on my stores and I've seen a lot of people, including these guys do, is uh, if, you, if you watch my video, I think it was the last one about Instagram, um, having really good quality product photos that are, you know, sort of lifestyle photos. Um, if you have those, like for example, this one, People are like, wow, that's a really cool bracelet. I wonder where I can get that. So uh, coming off of Instagram, they see this. This looks very similar to Instagram. They can be like, okay, this is the photo. I wonder what the product is. You can click on it and you can see exactly what the product is, how much it costs. You know, they got the coupon code, this description, all that kind of stuff. So that is how I would set up a really, really solid homepage, okay? Uh, again, simple colors, simple theme all of the above and it's all trying to get somebody to purchase because your your website's a funnel essentially okay you got to think of it as a funnel and that's exactly what they're doing here okay the second one that i want to show you is called ivy and envy and again if you watch the instagram video i talked about their instagram so you should definitely check it out because it's a great example of uh, what to do for you know an instagram but once you go onto their website you can see it's a very uh, sort of chic design but again, it's drop shipping. Okay, they're drop shipping this watch. It's like a free plus shipping watch. Um, but they, you know, they brand everything. They make it look really nice. They also have this is something that not a lot of drop shipping stores have. But it's a page tracker. Okay, or a, sorry, package tracker. And what you can do is just download the app after ship, um, which I've talked about in another video. You can check out if you want. Um, and then they, uh, you know, a customer can basically click on this and then track their package, which is something super important that'll uh, lessen the amount of inquiries for where people's packages are, uh, which is super good. Okay, so then we scroll down, and again, the whole purpose is to get somebody on a product page, so we see that. Um, and really, really solid product photos here. Okay, uh, they may have taken them themselves, they may have gotten them online, I don't know, but uh, they're really solid. Okay, st sticks with the theme, and then again, we see this whole Instagram thing here, which uh, you know works super, super well. Um, it's not necessarily shop their Instagram, but it's, it's just something to help people uh, sort of see another social channel that they have, okay? So let's see uh, if we click on this, if it goes to the watch. Yeah, there you go, okay, so this is the watch, and check this out, okay, so they're doing $100, um, but they have a really interesting twist on it. They say holiday offer, if you use the, the code GIFTS at checkout, you just have to pay shipping and handling. So they're building in a ton of perceived value here. You know, obviously because this watch looks nice, it looks like it could cost $100. Um, but they say if you just, if you use the code GIFTS, then, uh, you know, you can just pay shipping and handling, which I haven't seen before and I think is pretty genius. Um, so if you get anything out of this video, I mean, that might be it. Okay, they, uh, they also have this, this is kind of a generic product description, you know, but um, it's, it's whatever. But uh, they have these reviews, which is awesome, okay? It's obviously really good to have reviews for your product. If you don't have reviews, then, you know, it's kind of, it's, it's definitely harder to, to sell products, so definitely get reviews if you can. Um, and then you, you have these other fine products here. So anyways, uh, hopefully this, and also you can see their, their theme is white, black, and gold, okay? Very high-end theme. So guys, hopefully this video helped you out in terms of deciphering what makes good web design. Um, and it's very easy to do. Like this is probably a paid theme, but you can make something very similar with one of the free themes that they have um, through Shopify, okay?
So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. Also hit the like button. Let me know that you like it. Want me to continue making these videos on a consistent basis. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified as soon as we drop the latest video, which actually I want to start a series, um, hopefully starting the next video of actual website reviews, okay? So if you have a website that you want me to review, uh, go ahead and comment below or send me a DM on Instagram and I'll review it live on a video um, and you know we can go for it. Uh, so I'm thinking maybe like three videos that will do that, maybe more, maybe less, not sure. But either way, uh, you know, submit up down below. Also, if you want a full out like page long review of your website, I do offer that. I'll have a link below that you can check it out. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do them for free anymore just because I'm getting so many inquiries and uh, you know it's tough to keep up with that as well as you know stuff for my business. So I do have to charge for my time. But if you're interested, go ahead and check out the link below. It's one of those down there. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you, you like the video and I will see you guys tomorrow.